Hi. So, I'm um, sorry about the waviness of the camera. Um, I'm shaking, I guess, because I haven't done a video for my YouTube channel for, wow, a really long time. It's been well over a year. Um, almost two. During this time frame, I have I've endured so much and I'd say a good part of it is because of the decisions I've made and of failing to recognize the gravity of the spiritual battle that we have to face. I've lost so much and I am making this video because I need those of you that are chosen that are anointed, that know that you are chosen by God to hear me. There is a cost. If you fall away, you risk your soul. By the grace of God, he chose to hold on to me. And I think that's because a small part of me never let go of him either. Since my last recording, I'm sorry about my shyness of my face. I have Vaseline on it. Um, since my last recording, I have found out that I have lupus. I have found out that there's a such thing as racial trauma. My last recording was prior, I believe, right around, maybe right around the time the whole George Floyd thing started. And I didn't know that I was responding, my PTSD was responding to the trauma that I've endured because of the skin that's on my bones. I also didn't know that I had lupus sitting up underneath, waiting to just attack. I, um, tired quite a bit and um, didn't feel well, was just always feeling like I was just stretched. And my symptoms have gotten worse over time. Since then, I uh, relapsed over and over again and then I stayed there for a bit. Between the lupus and um, the relapse of methamphetamines, I lost about a hundred pounds. I've had three investigations by human services where they walked away three times because I'm a good mom. And then on the fourth one, I was in the hospital and they put me on an M1 hold, a mental health hold. Well, um, one of the major signs of lupus that will help, that helps them to be able to diagnose it is psychosis. For those of you that know me, I am fiercely logical. I don't go into my emotions. I'm not a, not like that, you know. Um, I think about things and I think about thinking about things. And um, they're saying that I had a psychosis. Well, what's funny is, is that no one has still yet to link the lupus to the psychosis. Um, they took my son. That night, they went and did a verbal removal order. That verbal removal order stated that I did not give them any information for my son to go anywhere. That is not the truth. That very night, my son was picked up by my friend, who is the assistant director at a well-known Montessori. She had him until Human Services had her transfer him to them and a foster home. The federal government has stated that they are supposed to do everything in their power to keep your child with you. Since then, the government has stated, the Arapahoe County in Aurora, Colorado has stated that they found me guilty, not the government, not the judge, but Arapahoe County found a minor incident of intrafamilial neglect due to injurious environment. Now, let me let you know what minor means. Minor means that that child basically had nothing change or hurt him or anything like that. Nothing affected him. 
However, since March 30th, when they filed that lie in court and then reiterated that lie was the assistant district attorney. Um, she on 4-4 went to court and reiterated that same lie. My lawyer did not tell me that if I had anything I needed to bring up, that I needed a, to, to say anything about, I needed to do it then, otherwise I was in. She also failed to give me the next court date on 428, where they gave custody of my son to his father, who beats him, who sells drugs, who has had a warrant while on felony probation after failing felony parole. I, meanwhile, have a home that has all of his stuff, full of love, get out of the hospital, and immediately go to try to prove to them that I'm a good mom. I, am, I was in outpatient therapy, and I'm showing them that I'm clean, and I'm giving them UAs, and they're saying that my UAs, some of them, because they weren't good enough because they had alcohol in them, but his, while on felony probation, was good enough, though it had weed in it. My son's father had warrants for driving, but yet is still driving to pick up my son and drop him off and whatnot. They've never asked for a license. They've never asked him to prove whether or not he has any kind of job, nothing. Now let me let you know this why. I believe it's because my son's father works for the other side. I believe my son's father intentionally got me pregnant because he wanted to bring me down. He knew I'm a child of light, that I'm God's child, and then he wanted to destroy my life. I know that there are some of you who are going to think I'm crazy, and I don't really care. Because I know that the spiritual will know spiritual, and those that don't, won't. Slowly but surely it did. My son's father sells drugs for his whole family. He kidnapped my child and took him to California where he picked up a shipment of drugs with my kid. Ironically, the police stated that he had just as much rights as I did, even though, mind you, he's never went to court for those rights. Not ever. Not ever. He's never even filed a document to try to get his son, but they believe everything that comes out of his mouth like it's honey. Again, why? Because he serves the other side. That man sells drugs. He's literally walked up to a guy's car right after he got out of rehab and asked him if he wanted blues. Recently, there was a story in the, in the uh, news out here about a little boy who died because he took a pill, a pill, a pain pill. And I've told human services that he sells drugs. Their thing is, oh, well, he locks them. I have all the, he locks all the, the, all substances, plural, in a safe. Have they seen this safe? Every time I've taken pictures of my son having bruises on his legs, they've done nothing to, to do anything about it. Actually, as a matter of fact, they said, we're looking at the daycare. Oh, so the daycare's beating my son, but not his father. Not his father who has anger management problems. Not his father who is so abusive that I would have rather been with a pimp being humanly trafficked than been with him. Funny, huh? I have tried to bring my case to the state. I am filing complaints at the, the federal level because my and my son's rights are being trampled upon. This is the cost of falling away from God. But know this. I believe, I believe full heartedly with everything in me that I am owned by God. I am sealed by him. And he is my God and my king and my savior. And I say this right now. This God will make a way. Where there is no way he will make a way. He will show and he will make this happen because that little boy was my blessing. 
That little boy got me out of human trafficking. That little boy brought me to the police to be able to, to report it and has since gotten two juveniles free and another woman. That little boy's existence changed my life. That little boy is loved. And I promised God I would make sure that he knows who he is and that I return him to him because he was my gift. And I'll say this to you. Do not underestimate the power of God. Do not underestimate the power of God. Because as I sit here sick with my lupus rash and all the wondrous things that come with it, I also know that I've turned from my sin. And you know there's a blessing in desperation and repentance. And I mean, repentance is when, when you look at your sin and you turn. I also know that I was being attacked because I was on YouTube stating how very much I loved God and how obedience gets you blessings upon blessings. Well, let me let you know this. Sickness, death, disease, loss come from sin. And God makes it rain on the just and unjust alike. So I had to learn. I had to learn to walk away. I had to remember who my God is and why I serve him. I had to remember who I'm sealed for. I will not let go of my place. My lamp will not burn low. I will not be one of the maids that says, hey, give me more oil. Because my lamp and my oil were runneth over. And I'm going to heaven. I'm going to heaven with my son. I'm going to heaven with my children. I'm going to heaven having broken the chains on my family. I'm going to heaven knowing that my voice will not be silent, that I will show the world the good and the bad of the spiritual battle. And I will do so gladly. I will pay every cost to be chosen and I will pay it with pride, knowing that I wear that breastplate of righteousness. Those that have nothing to hide, hide nothing. I have nothing to hide. Know this, God is with you. You have a choice. We all have a choice. Choose wisely. We are not one of us promised tomorrow. I promised another moment from now. But I know this. This moment, this day, I will serve the Lord. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. God never let me go, and I never let him go. I just had to sit here and humble myself before him again. And for those of you that are coming for me, come. Come. Because you will see the Lord is good. Nothing you do will hold me back. Nothing you do will hold my son back, my children back, my family line back. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. So I put, I guess I put those of you that want to serve the other side on notice. My armor is on and I'm a spiritual warrior, proud in everything I am because everything I am is God's. 
I beg those of you that haven't made a decision to make it now. Time is running out. It's of the essence. Those of us that hear him, we hear him loud. He's calling. In the word it says, his children will hear his voice. We hear him. For those of you that don't, I feel sorry for you. I really do. Because hell isn't a joke. And hell isn't just here on earth, it's a real place. Yes, there are consequences. See, the thing is, is the blessing about being chosen is like with any child and that falls away or that messes up, you still love them, but you have to discipline them and you have to get them back on the right track, right? So that's been what I've been going through for the last year and a half. Discipline and redirection. I pray that you guys see this and know we have choices. We have choices, people. Please let us choose right. Please let us choose empathy and love and compassion. Please let us choose truth. God's not playing. He's not playing, people. And I don't mean God like some guy in a big old white robe and all that. I believe that there are correlations with this new age stuff and, and with Christianity. Because yes, there are things that are truth like vibrations being in all things and that everything vibrates at a certain level. And you know, all these things are true. But I also believe that we have to understand that there's a lot of things that we don't understand and see, but we also know that are truths. I don't know how to explain it. Not right now. I'm used to, I'm sorry. I'm tired. I get to see a specialist soon. Hopefully I'll get better soon. If I don't, I still know where I'm going. It's the blessing about being saved. You know where you belong. There's no fear to death. I don't fear it. I welcome you. Come, Jesus, come. Come, God, come. Come, let us know. We hear your voice. We welcome you, Jesus. Jesus, come down and tell us who you are. Show us who you are. Because you will separate us, the shaft and the wheat. And all will bow before him. All will bow. And I am so thankful that I was chosen. And that he still has chosen to choose me. I tell everybody, I think that God chose me because I have a big fat mouth and I don't shut up. And if I believe in something, I go hard for it. But I do. I really do believe that that's why God chose me. Because he knows I have a big old mouth and I'm not going to shut up if I believe in something. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And right is choosing God. God bless each and every one of you. May his light and his face shine upon you. May you know him intimately. May he forgive you and may you serve him with an open and honest heart. I hope this helps somebody. I'm gonna start loading videos again. Here's the deal, caveat. I'm not gonna look pretty all the damn time. I'm not gonna look kept. I'm gonna be crying. I'm gonna be going through it. But this is what reality is, what serving is, what life is. And I've never promised anything else. So you want a real done, honest dose of truth and you wanna be able to ride by somebody who knows God, 
stick around. Like and subscribe. God bless you.